J. No reviews. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Real quick for a second, shout out to my boy Darrell for dropping a review on Terrifier 3. I'm going to post the video in the description down below so y'all can check that out. Because I know a lot of people want to go see Terrifier over the weekend. I know I didn't get to, but you know, things happen. But, um, you know, check out my boy's review and his take on the movie and, you know, and just support the channel. But anyway, it's your boy Jay from DJ Mo Reviews. Sorry the homie Darrell cannot be here. But you guys, I'm going to be reviewing an old classic horror movie. I know I y'all checked out my other video, Blackula, uh, review. So now I'm going to review another one. And since it's a horror month, I'm going to, you know, let y'all on inner stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of some horror segments. Um, coming in for a month of horror, I'm going to be reviewing the movie The Relic. Now... What it comes to mind when we think about the movie The Relic? Before we get started, by the way, sorry about that. <laughs> Make sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, keep, uh, you know, stay tuned for my updates and all stuff. So, um, but anyway, moving right along. The Relic. What comes into mind when we see the movie The Relic? It's basically takes place um some i think some people start out with the movie of what i can remember some uh guy him and a whole, whole bunch of people they go out to some place i guess in africa to some jungle and this guy takes some type of drug and basically towards the end of the movie you know you find out who he is so basically there's a creature so basically turns to his creature so, based on this movie, there's a creature that's laying dormant in a museum. Now, why would now why would a creature be laying dormant in a museum? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know what that creature was doing in that museum, but that thing was basically killing people left and right. Um, I will say this: What can I remember about the movie? I watched this movie, I guess, when I was little. I think when I was a young kid, and I remember, I ain't gonna lie, this movie scared me. I just remember just seeing that creature, just how fast that thing run, like just running through the museum and, you know, killing people, taking their heads off. I mean, I, I'm telling you, like, it was, the fatality in that movie was ridiculous. I remember one part in the movie where there was, these soldiers, they was uh, they was going in to try to get some of the hostages, well, not hostages, some of the civilians and everything, you know, out, and also some people that were stranded in there at the museum. And uh, the creature got one of the, uh, well, it got basically, I guess, the whole team. But I think one of the soldiers was saying, pull me up, pull me up. And I remember, he said, pull me up, pull me up. And then they pulled him up. And the creature got them, and it just, like, basically just, you know, took half of his body apart. Um, but anyways, the movie was definitely good from what I can remember. It was, I'm not gonna lie, it was very thrilling. Just having, uh, you know, basically you have a creature pretty much just, again, laying dormant in the museum. And what I can remember is uh, there was some, you know, the act in the movie was pretty kind of like, you know, it was, you can say it was okay from what I can remember. It was all right. I mean, it is what it is. But um, the movie itself, it was really good. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad if they actually did a remake of The Relic. Because from what I can remember from the relic, it, it was it was spot on. And honestly, I think if they really did do, honestly, I think to be honest, I think Blumhouse should get a hold and make uh, the relic remake. That would be tight. Like you see how way that it was made back in 1997, and then you can make it, you know, now and like in you know in 2020 something. Honestly, I think it would definitely be dope. 
but it was great it was like it was really good um the movie itself it just had a lot of thrilling moments that i can remember i'm not not too sure but but yeah there was just a lot of a lot of parts in the movie where i can remember where there's just that creature was just like you see him then you don't see him like you see the creature and basically like he'll just you know tear he just tear everybody apart i remember one part where i think there was two german shepherds in the scene i think um yeah two german shepherds one of them got i think one of them got killed and bless his heart it was bad and i think the other one i think one of the guys he was going to look for his other dog and then the German Shepherd did this, was bending down like this, and he was looking at that creature. And, you know, he was very scared. But, um, like I said, it was real dope. It was real tight. And um, the movie, the movie was definitely, some. it was definitely something fun to watch. I'll tell you that. The Relic was definitely fun to watch. I heard that there's, you know, a book about the Relic, which is very interesting. I haven't read it, but somebody said that they read it before and honestly it's pretty dope now um now with that being said uh with the relic do i think that if i watch this movie again would it you know be like one of the top horror movies in today's era i don't know i don't know it's kind of hard to tell but overall, you know, it's really good. It's a really good movie. And it's, it's just something that, you know, that you can just basically just just watch on your own time and just, you know, basically just have your opinion about it. And it's, you know, it's just something that um, right off top, it's, it's a movie that you can you can really enjoy. If you're a horror fan, it's a, it's a really good movie that you can really enjoy. So I recommend that. But um, that's my review. Honest review, y'all. <laughs> Think about it. But um, that's my review to The Relic. Now, all y'all guys out here that's watching and tuning in, um, I'm going to be doing some horror classics for this month so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned support the channel subscribe to me and my boy Darrell and uh you know stay tuned because I'm, I'm gonna really do this for the horror community but uh that's all I have for the relic and uh this is your boy Jay from DNJ Moore Reviews and I'm out this thing y'all have a wonderful evening peace